What if you search on Google for your name and your personal information shows up in the search result? That's not something most people are comfortable with. Now, luckily in April, Google updated its policy and you can now request to remove your personal information from Google search. Let's do just that by going to this URL. I'll leave the direct link in the description as well. So this is where you land and here are the steps you should take. So first of all, you need to request for remove the information. So let's select that one. It's better that you select the in Google search results and on the website, because that way you just get more options. Now, have you contacted the website owner? No, I prefer not to. And now you can choose what type of information you're actually removing. If you're under 18, they're going to be just faster with, with removing images and stuff like that from you. So choose whatever fits your purpose. Let's say in my case is the personal information. And then there's another question about uh, what kind of information in, is displayed on Google. So I'm going to just say that it's contact information. And now you get this form. Now, keep in mind that even if Google removes your information, it doesn't mean it's off the internet. And there is no guarantee it won't reappear there in a few months or so if the information is not taken down from the original website. You need to contact the webmaster of that website and they just have some instructions how to do that here. The other situation that could happen that you already removed the information from the website. However, you still see it in Google search results. And this is the instructions how to actually remove the outdated content. They have a tool for that. So it's quite a simple process. For the rest of us, if, this, if these two situations don't apply to you, then just go on and select this checkbox and then choose if this is with malicious intent. So the contact information that it's online, if there's some malicious or doxing intent behind it. So let's say in this case, I don't think there is. Google here explains that it actually doesn't matter which one you choose. They just want to know this. So I'll pick one that applies to you. Okay. And then you need to add some personal information. You, you can just read through these and see if it applies to you. Select the country, your email address and so on. Uh, and now we go to the removal uh, part. So actually here you specify the website. So let's say I made a search for myself. This is uh, I searched for my name and these are the results. And let's say I don't like this page. Uh, it just reveals too much about me. Then I can go here. I'll open in the new tab. And this is the URL they're requesting first. So they're requesting the uh, page, the actual page on the Internet. So I'll go back now and I'll add that uh, URL here. Same thing goes for images. If you want to remove an image, you should then paste that image. But you need to go to the source. So you have to go to the uh, page itself. You have instructions how to do that here. So you can grab the URL of the image. Then in the second here, in the second part, you need to place the URL of the search. So in my case, it's this one. So I search for my name. I just place this one here and you can see it's quite long, but you just place it here as it comes from Google search. Then you can upload some uh, screenshots so that Google knows what you're trying to do here and also add the query names here that you search for. In my case, it would be just my, my, my name and my last name. And then just add any additional context if there is any. Then just sign this removal request. And then if you want to give feedback to Google, you can check this one, but it's not necessary. And then you just submit it. Now, it really depends on your case, how long it takes uh, for Google to remove it from uh, the search results. What really helps to decrease the amount of your personal information online is to remove the information from the data brokers that collect information on people to then sell it to advertisers. There are services that will delete the information for you from these data brokers. You can watch how to do that in this video right here. Or it's also possible to do it by yourself, but it's a bit tedious process. For that, check out this video right here.